Kia ora and welcome to a new video from NZ Pocket Guide. Today I'm going to go over all my best tips if you're planning on staying in a holiday home or apartment when traveling in New Zealand. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so let's begin with the boring part, the no party rule. You probably know that from Airbnb, which made the headline when they decided to implement this, but many of the other providers of holiday homes and apartments have a similar rule in place. You are not able to host parties or even invite guests into your holiday home when renting a holiday home or apartment in New Zealand. So be aware of that. And if you're planning on hosting some kind of parties during your stay in that place you may want to contact the owner and make sure to sort and straighten everything out in the first place in order not to be banned from the platform all right moving on to something a bit more fun and that's booking so obviously everybody heard of airbnb everybody knows how to book on airbnb and that's all nice fine and dandy but did you know that in new zealand we do have a lot of other providers of holiday homes and apartments such as bookabatch booking.com vrbo and our personal favorite batch care so yeah there is called batch and you heard book a batch or batch care and um, yes that is because basically a batch is also a kiwi slang for holiday home in new zealand anyway using some of the local providers may help you get a, a, some different offering something a little bit more true authentic and local so you may want to check them out um, and so yeah they all have the the, the normal url like batchcare.com or something like that so it's it's not hard to find all right so next up on our list we have checking out all the charges um, if you've ever used Airbnb, you're very much aware that there is a million different charge between the booking fee, the cleaning fee, the fee processing fee sometimes. Jesus, there's a lot of fees. Anyway, check all the charges first. Don't take the ticket price uh, at face value. When a room is listed for $100, it doesn't really mean you're going to be paying $100. There is maybe, there may be a lot of different fees added to it. All right, next on our list, we have the bed layout. So when uh, booking an accommodation in a hotel, for example, you can expect them to change the bed layout in your room quite easily. Are uh, they always equipped with a lot of different bed layout rooms, uh, different beds, single beds, smaller beds, kids' bed, cots, etc. However, when using holiday homes and batches and even apartments, well, you will be limited to what bed layout is already in the place. There is very limited little flexibility in there so make sure that you check that out first so there is no bad surprises now if you're planning on traveling in new zealand during the summer holidays uh, which usually happen in december and january or even any time when there is a, a massive rugby game in say city or a concert you may want to book early because well holiday homes and apartments are usually uh, the main accommodation of choice for locals so if there is a big event well they tend to book out much earlier than other types of accommodation Another thing to be aware of when booking um, a holiday homes and apartment in uh, the major cities of New Zealand is the parking situation. Uh, in Auckland, Wellington, Christchurch, and to some extent Queenstown, it is quite hard to get parking. The, the parking situation is just simply put not good. So you may want to make sure that you check with your host if parking is available in order not to make the first hour of your stay in the same place uh, be the best part of your trip, which is looking for parking. So make sure to check that out because, well, it happens quite often. And lastly, I just want to make you aware of the wide range of qualities when it comes down to holiday homes in New Zealand. Um, it is quite hard to find any rhymes or reasons of uh, which host is going to be great, which place is going to be great. Uh, a lot of time you will have wide variety of uh, facilities as well as service, uh, as well as just quality overall and, and, pr and pr I don't know, value you know, for what you pay for. So um, yeah, just do be aware of that. It's something that we've struggled with a lot when traveling around New Zealand, trying to figure out what will be good value and what will not. So that's why we have some that we do trust and like listed on the site all right so there's much more information for you on nz pocket guide that's everything for me today and the whole team is joining me in wishing you the best time ever in new zealand